Welcome! In this video, we will explain how you can roast with the Giesen Profiler 2.0. The Giesen Profiler software combines ease of use with a full range of functionalities. Whether you're looking to control your roaster, implement automations, or fine-tune a roasting profile, it has you covered. Before we start with a live roast, we will show and explain some of the menus of the profiler. The first icon in the menu on the left is the dashboard. This is the space that you see when you open the app. We will explain more about the dashboard later in the video while roasting. Next up is Profiles. This is where you can manage and create profiles for your green coffee beans. In the video, Managing Your Roasting Profiles, we go in-depth into all the functions of the Giesen Profiler software regarding making and managing profiles. Under Roasts, you can see all the previous roasts that you have done with the Giesen Profiler. When you click on a roast, the profiler will show you essential information about that roast, like the graph, the changes made during the roast, length of the roast phases, and export options. At my roaster, you have an overview of the connected roaster with all the possible actions and you can see the errors and settings of the roaster. For example, you can click on the stirrer to turn it on or off. If you own a GCC or D stoner and have it connected to your roaster, you can use the equipment through these menus. In the Giesen profiler, you can change the settings of the app by clicking on the cog icon in the bottom left corner. In the video setting up the profiler, we go in-depth about the settings. When you click on the support button, you will be automatically redirected to the help center. Here you can read articles about the Giesen profiler and contact our support department. Now we will go back to the dashboard and show you the Giesen profiler in action. Above the graph, you can see six different gauges which shows the values of the air temperature, bean temperature, the rate of rise, the power percentage, the speed of the drum and the air pressure. On the right, you can see a taskbar with two icons to open quick access, to roaster controls, roasting equipment, and the legend for the graph. When you are roasting, there will be two more icons visible in the middle, one for making a note, and one to add the first and possibly the second crack. You can start a roast through your roasting device or click record in the profiler at the bottom of the screen. If you click on the chevron next to record, you can add a delay, and if you have an automated roaster, you can change the amount of time the intake is opened. During the roast, we use the split chart to split the power, drum, speed, and air pressure to the bottom graph for a clearer overview. During the roast, the profiler will automatically mark in the graph when the turning point is and when you go through the different roasting phases. When you click on the gauges at the top of the screen, a window pops up where you can add or retract the value in steps, turn it on or off, and put it on automated. With the new update, the Giesen profiler will show the expected bean temperature two minutes ahead of time based on the rate of rise for extra roasting insight. Now we will let the roast simulation play out. During roasting, you can always change the values by clicking on the top gauges. At the very top of the graph, you can see a line grow with a color representing in what phase that time period is. When the roast is finished and you click stop, a window on the right opens. Here you can see and add information about the roast. At the bottom of the window, you can either save the roast as a roasting profile or discard it. When you save the roast as a profile, you can reuse the settings of the roast. Now we will show what changes there are when you roast with a profile loaded in. Here you see a roast simulation with a roast profile loaded in. In the bottom left corner, you will see the name of the loaded roasting profile and the total length of the profile below it. In the graph, you will see the graph of the profile in lower opacity as a reference for the current roast. The markings of the roasting profile will have a P at the start. Additionally, we want to show that you can pin the right side bar to the dashboard. This way, you can have the roaster controls and other functions always at the ready. 
When a roast is finished with a profile loaded in, it will be automatically saved under Roast linked to the profile. Thank you for watching this video on how to roast with the Giesen Profiler. We hope this video has given you a clear idea of what the Giesen Profiler 2.0 can do. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website or through our social media channels.